back home. My mom is still blacked out on the floor. She's addicted to methadone and any other drug she can get her hands on. And she's spiraling deeper and deeper into mental illness and suicidality and obsessive compulsive disorder. And nothing has ever worked for her. And nothing has ever changed. And then about two years ago, a friend sends me a link to a to a video by a doctor named Gabor Mate. And he says two things in this video which really catch my attention and which essentially changed my life. He says that almost all of his intensely addicted Skid Row patients have a severe history of childhood trauma. And then he also says this really simple and compassionate thing. He says, addictions always originate in pain. And so the question is never really why the pain, why the addiction, but why the pain. And so this really turns my head around and it sends me on a research track trying to understand addiction and trauma and violence and mental illness and the relationship that all of these things bear to each other. And so the more I started to learn about the relationship between addiction and trauma, I started to think, wait a minute, maybe this too is not inevitable. You know, maybe there's a cause to this effect and maybe we can stop these cycles by prioritizing the healing of people who've been so psychologically damaged and by destigmatizing the trauma. But I still feel really determined to see what kind of world we can create if we allow this kind of thought change which is so akin to a kind of forgiveness to open up inside of ourselves. So all of us is here in this room because we believe in social change, right? We want what we do with our lives to make a difference. And the thing that I want to ask you is how you can allow this kind of change in thinking and this kind of change of heart to become part of your understanding of the world. And then what actions are going to follow when you do.